Hi, Aileen Productions has asked me to present the new and upcoming horror magazine, Inferno. We chose this title because it means a large fire, which really links to our satanic and supernatural theme. Our design choices are red, black, and grey for our half star. We chose this because it shows the horror style, as in red linking to blood. This could incre increase our readership. The booths that we have is a synergy with, this, with cinemas in England, which shows that they have a free cinema ticket for any person who buys this magazine. Our price is three ninety nine, so this would go to the target audiences of C1, C2 and B, which our target audience is for film and horror lovers, that is the ages of 16 to 30. In our double page spread, our article is informative about the new movie, Truth and Lie, which is written by Mark Commode. It is also entertaining because we have a Q&A with the director and a few questions answered by the main actress, Sophia Homer. The legal issues that we have made sure to avoid is that we have made sure to copyright all of our information so that we won't get sued. Our ethical issues are that the images could be controversial towards children, so we need to make sure that they are up high on the shelf so that the children won't be able to see them and they could have a black mesh cover over them to avoid this. Thank you. Are there any questions? Okay, thanks, Mary. Mary. I did like the ethical uh, discussion on children because bidding is important when you come in a topic of horror. Um, can I just ask one question? What ideas do you have with it being horror? Obviously, horror can often be seen sometimes seasonal. Um, certainly towards like October or the winter months. How would you keep a product like this selling all year round? We would make sure that this product is selling all year round by making sure that we have a variety of different horror movies. So around Halloween we would review the Halloween movies, but throughout the other years we would make sure to have a variety of different horror movies. Okay, so even though maybe we're in January, February, March, um, and it's maybe some winter or some peak summertime, um, you know, there's still horror movies being made, so you'd be focusing on the pre-production or the production of those movies, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. Okay, that's great, thank you very much.